feel like the other room was an ideal place for a shadow to be hidden somewhere. Or for there to be one of those secret achievements. Like, you'll, you'll give her a body part and then she puts it inside the thing and it's like, like, teacher's helper or something. <laughs> Maybe. You know, you give her a liver, put it on the table so she comes back and puts the liver inside. Because there's another one, there's another achievement in the first game, which is called, um... Uh... Chef helper or something like that, and you have to put three ingredients in the plot in the pot in the kitchen. You have to put a carrot and a piece of meat and a sausage in the pot in the kitchen to get the achievement. <laughs> get fucked. You want to get the attention of that boy in the back, and they have them both set to go get hit by the trap. That's what you want for ideal gameplay. That's a speedrun attack right there. I was going to say, there's no way that's going to hit her, she's too fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, there you go! <laughs> <laughs> I out the time. Oh. <laughs> and now I really like seeing death populations. Like, I always have some of the most fun. I don't know, if anyone watches my Spider-Man playthrough, there was a really good moment of like just death compilations where it was like an hour condensed into 10 seconds of me just doing like kills in this one location and it was just like... <laughs> it was really fun. I really enjoyed doing that edit. Blue Line! Jumping down the little cat. Wow, this game got a lot more violent. Any more? Come get some. Now that you've got a hammer, you're very threatening. I see the boy, come on. He's waiting for the boot. No, I that Don't worry. You, you're. While these kids were like mastering the sneak attack, you were at home mastering the hammer. What? It's the power of depth perception. What? Yeah. Oh, I definitely hit him. Oh, oh my god! Uh, I mean, you've been playing it for like an hour straight, so <laughs> it's gonna be a uh, strenuous. Is there another one coming? Oh! There she is! Catch her! Catch her! No, oh, save her! Catch her! Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, it's safe. I saw the eye. Oh well. Oh, he's doing a butt waggle. What an asshole! Yeah, he's an asshole. I believe in you. I think you can take these two. Yeah. I think <laughs> I lucked out there, but I'm gonna take it's it. It's the back swing. No, no. Oh, oh. I'm it's so okay. scared for her. It's okay. She's got, she's got um those papers underneath her. <laughs> I mean, if you say so. Is she okay? Yeah, she good. You cracked a skull. So what's her superpower? Do all kids have superpowers? Are they all like the mutants? You keep saying this, I'm not convinced. It's okay, we got you. Just without the coat, she can't use her powers. Yeah, it's the source of her powers. I mean, for all we know, Six is bold. Or has well, I'm still convinced Six is that that girl that ran backwards in the DLC. So I still think Six has long brown hair. Well, she might be the girl you mentioned in the prequel that gave the coat to Six. What the one that ran backwards? Yeah. But that was before Six even got to the mall. The mall. Oh, okay. 
the the prequel because the prequel takes place on that's the other thing about the prequel it takes place on like a weird island called the nursery and the girl that you are in that is like when you run off the island um she floats away to the moor so like at the end of that game you get because i watched like a playthrough of that game because i was like i'm never gonna play this game Ah, oh, you have you got the tickling keys achievement in this one as well Nothing happens, you just get achievements for doing these stupid little things. I actually think they're my favourite kind of achievements, these doing mundane tasks you wouldn't normally do, but I think they're quite funny. Ah, oh, I you killed her then. I'm just waiting for the moment you accidentally kill her. Giving us a hint of what needs to be done. We know she's trying to sabotage me. When you're on a piano, that cushions your fall, right? We passed the bit you got to yet. No. Where? Ne nearly there. We nearly about to kill the teacher. You kill the teacher? We escape the teacher. <laughs> I don't think we'll kill her. Is that a doll or is that a little child? I think that's another frog. I, think. I mean, but is that a yeah. human or is that a child? No, that's another porcelain child. Uh, it's like stabbing the frog with a key. Wow. Those How the hell did you do that? Now use the key to kill it. Respect the pipe. Ah! Hagar it. Respect the pipe. The pipe is good. No, when we get to the next zone is probably when I'm... Um, we'll stop, yeah. Well, is when I, where I've got to, and the next session would be completely new to me. So we can piss our pants together. Yay! And, you know, when we get to one of those sections, we have to kill tons of things. We'll be here twice as long. <laughs> it's the boss. What, is he, like, playing an instrument? No, she is, but... Oh, okay. Boring, more Illuminati symbols. She's gonna um, stealth kill him. Wow! Have another your shit, boy. Shit. Did she just cross that thing's head with her bare hands? Yep. Ah, uh, I'm having conniptions about this girl now. <laughs> I'm starting to think she might not be marriage material. <laughs> Although maybe she is, she was able to cross a thing with her bare hands. It's just, you know, she... She crushed our enemies with her bare hands. Yeah, but she... I mean, that small time we were apart, she seems to have become vicious. Well, she did have to put up with a lot of crazy dolls. Maybe, I guess. She was just playing with a music box when we met her, though. She's really gone on an arc. It's when she starts eating rats, that's when we've got to start worrying. Six all along, just like Ben said. And she starts looking at your neck like it's a tasty Yeah, she snack. starts licking her lips and looking at your neck. <laughs> I don't know why we can't like bend at an edge and offer her help. But... She's like, nah, I don't need that. I don't need your fucking help, Bucker. No, she's just lazy. She's like, we need a, uh, a third companion. Someone with a ranged option, I think. She's the support. You're the you're the tank. We need either a ranged or a healer <laughs> to really complete the party. Get a little person with like a slingshot or something. 
If we got, if we get six on the party, or if this isn't six, we'll, we'll have our DPS. Do you have stretch our arms, stretch our legs? She should have eaten the uh, salad hands, like hands when she cut them off, and then she would have gotten extendo arms. She's just gonna be like you feel crap. She'll be no, she will say she's she's one of those people that has multiple superpowers. Yeah, they're all really broken. Go 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 go! Oh, I don't like how she's putting her face like that. Oh, that's weird. Like she's it. gonna get ya. She's kind of always happy as well. But she's like, oh, it's, she's just squeezing for the love. Now, if there was a time to tie her head, make her go around. The <laughs> she just uh, puts a little raincoat on her head, disguises herself as six, and just follows. Crap, there we go. Oh, it's raining now, you could really use a raincoat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Crap. Crap, man. Crap, crap. There we yeah, go. Yeah, come on. It's use okay. the buddy system. We're away from the creepy ass people now. Get to the, here's the reveal. What's gonna happen? What's the reveal? The Eiffel Tower is upside down or something. And it turns out we're in the Splatoon universe. You <laughs> It was the Splatoon universe all along. Wow, precarious. We can do it. Ah, uh, the Great Earthquake. I'm sure this means something, I don't know. So, from the architecture, where do people think they are? Generic European I don't know. I was actually versioning on Asian because of how tall they are and skyscrapers. And the weird, the kind of wood structures and the, like just the system where the drainings on the outside like that. It, it, to me, it does not feel American. It does not feel European. It looks, and even the, the, the tiles there. But it's yeah. probably an amalgamation of several cultures. But I say it, it kind of looks 
but uh, like, you know, eastern to me. Yeah. So, I feel like you can jump further in these this game. I don't think you could have made that in the old game. Little girl, this is like I'm cold and wet. This is bollocks. Yeah, I want my yellow. Uh, thing. There's got to be something like that anyway. Come on. There's got to be something. Be like a creepy drain as well. Yeah. I bet there's an achievement for pushing that down the drain or something. Yeah, awesome. There's gotta be, right? Well, you, you go keep going. Uh, like, if, if you can bring it with you, I, I would say bring it with you. That wall's got a face on it. And two yeah. eyes and a mouse down the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Keep going wherever you need to keep going. That's so strange. Oh, look. Mm, look at this. Ben, you spoil us. <laughs> yep. Ben, Ben spoiled us all And along. here's her theme tune. <laughs> so is this a prequel? Yep. It is a prequel. As far as I'm aware. Ben was right. Unless something changes in the later half of the game, this is a prequel. Yeah, she's good. Maybe she is a prequel to the portable game, and she's like the girl that gives the hoodie to Six, <laughs> like you said. Maybe. Yeah. So yeah. she ends up on the um, the orphanage on the little island in the in the prequel game to make just to make the game even more convoluted. I don't know how I feel about a prequel game. Is this really not happening? So this boy is about well, saving. I guess I. I don't know how I feel. I feel like uh, I have I with games. Yeah, there's 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 two things that have started to irk me with video games. One of the things of like when they jump around the timeline to a really ridiculous extent where they just don't follow any order whatsoever, and games that keep going backwards. I'm like, I don't really understand games that keep going backwards because so far they made the original game, then they made a prequel DC DLC. Then they made a prequel game on the phone, and now this is a prequel. So I don't know how I feel. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be great. This is one of those ones where I like, I like games to move forward in time, but... Oh, yeah. That's good. Thank you, my dear. So, what do you reckon? By the end of the game, she's going to eat him and get TV powers? <laughs> TV powers? <laughs> I don't understand his TV powers, so, you know. He can tune TVs, and sometimes he can kind of like step into the TV verse. If anyone's missing that Amazon parcel, there it is. Uh, it's probably full of meat. It's okay, girl, I got you. If this is six, I don't understand why she hasn't got the weird hunger pains. Maybe that's explained later on. Maybe. Maybe the results of this game are why she has to have the hunger pains. Yeah. Oh, sorry, girl. I got you. I mean, you don't know. Maybe there's just a lot of those yellow raincoats. Maybe. And she's not related, she just wears the same clothes. <laughs> I mean, uh, we, li we literally just found it in the trash, so it's not like, you know, there's probably more than one. But, yeah, the fans are just reading too much into it. <laughs> I say after our hour playing and saying symbolism over five seconds. <laughs> Is there a pie on me? No. Transition.